Bro, you seen those flyers? Off to a pretty good start in the preseason. Typical flyers, you know, we're not gonna do well in the preseason. Last couple years, we've been having a losing record. This year, we came out flying. 3-3-1 three, three and one we're at right now. We got one game left against the Bruins, and then we're on to the regular season next week. So, I wanna talk about the preseason here. I wanna talk about the stories, what we got what we got going on. We got Mikhail Vorobiev. Who's that? Mikhail Vorobiev, trying to steal the third line center spot from Jordan Wheel. This guy has been coming to camp and he's working his butt off and he's trying to steal that spot and I think he's gonna take it because this guy's been winning faceoffs. he's been putting up points last game he put up two points even though they lost this guy's trying to make the team and that's what you need you need players who are putting their heart on the line for the group right so that's one player that I can see coming out of camp making the team the next player we want to talk about we have to talk about who's been stealing the show up until the last game against the Rangers was Carter Hart this guy has been the heart and soul of the team in that you can say that he's stolen some preseason games for these guys some some games there's been five on three for extended periods of time this guy just made ridiculous saves save after save after save something the flyers are not used to i mean you got a bag of pucks i would i'd trade brian elliott right now you know flyers brass they love this guy so he's gonna be there for the year you're probably gonna have stollers as the backup uh with neuwirth hurt but what can you do i mean you don't get everything you want but i think carter hart eventually will make his way onto this team probably later this year so another bright spot in the preseason from one of the existing players is shane gosta spear this guy's been a beast three power play goals I think he's only played like two or three games and he's just on fire two of them were in one game that's for sure but you know he looks he looks like he's in form and he's ready to go so that's always good when one of your best power play specialists is on point the penalty kills looked a little bit better as well in the preseason I mean the last game they were over two but before that they were they had a pretty good streak going you know the penalty kill I think is still gonna be a problem going into the regular season uh, I don't like it I don't like the coach of it I don't like Ian LaPerriere I hate him actually I think he should be fired but uh, what can you do I mean again former flyer these guys tend to stick around the organization they don't get let go they just kind of move up or move into another position that no one really cares about the next thing I want to talk about is we got Phil Myers one of the one of the stories of I think preseason pretty much is that Flyers defensemen have been dropping like flies injury after injury after injury we've had Andrew McDonald who's supposed to be out for like the first month of the season and this guy comes back last game it's like no one likes you just stay injured and let these young guys play right anyway so this guy comes back but there's still a spot because you got Travis Sandheim who's hurt and now Travis Sandheim's gonna be back or was back against New York so Phil Myers you got no shot bud the numbers the numbers pushing him out the door so I mean it would have been nice to see Phil Myers in there with that right-handed shot we only got Redley Radko Gudas and Christian Follin who's really a 7d but what can you do now for the juicy stuff we got two major stories first story Yori Laterra who I hate scumbag is getting investigated for a cocaine bust in Finland unbelievable I mean this couldn't be any better for the Flyers hopefully this guy breaches contract gets kicked off the team we get the young boys in there playing because this guy doesn't deserve to play he's only in there because he was a throw in in a trade for Braden Chen but I mean it is what it is hopefully he gets busted goes to jail for 10 years you know what I mean it is what it is and my favorite story of the preseason you can't get better than this it is gritty Flyers mascot unbelievable love this guy he is what his name is he is gritty this guy comes out his first ever appearance for the Flyers stands in the middle of the ice and starts shooting t-shirt cannons at the Flyers staff I love that you gotta love that and you gotta love how this guy looks I mean look right so there you go guys that's the first episode here of this I guess we're gonna call it uh, Flyers flyby and uh, we'll be back we'll be talking about the Flyers all season long go Flyers go and Barrow you seen those Flyers